For a long time she was forgotten and I think former President Thabo Mbeki mentioned her in opening the Cape Town Convention Centre in 2003 where he spoke of Maria and her children and how they came to this country in chains, overcame amazing odds and epitomized the role models we need today in rebuilding our continent. Swata Maria was born into slavery at the Cape of Good Hope, probably around 1663. Her parents were brought to the Cape in 1658 as slaves from West Africa. Her father was Evert, her mother was Anna, and they came from Guinea. Swat Maria Evert was um, uh, growing up in a very topsy-turvy world where she was moving about quite often. She and her mother were, were sold three times while she was, before she was eight. At the age of eight is when her father bought her and her mother's freedom. Maria obviously learned a lot about growing vegetables, growing crops. Her father probably grew wheat because that was one of the major requirements of the Dutch East India Company and they certainly had vines planted too so she would have known a little bit about wine growing. As this observant child watches her father, Evert of Guinea, as a farmer, as a businessman um, and as a person who wielded some degree of power as well and she soaked this up. At that stage, free blacks ostensibly had the same rights as any free citizen. And somehow, because history is quite silent on this, somehow she built up quite a fortune. Now her, her coming to own Camps Bay was almost the last thing that she did in her life because it was in the final year of her life. She owned two farms on the west coast, title deed. By the time of Maria's death in 1713, during the smallpox epidemic, she was one of the wealthiest landowners of the Cape. And she did that in her own right, in her own name. Swat de Maria can be seen as the mother of Constantia because both of her children ended up living here. Her son Johannes, he was the guy who really took over from Simon van der Stel in making wine. So in the 1730s, Johannes Colleen, son of Swata Maria, and Johanna Colleen lived and worked these farms. The early slaves built the city. They built the farms, they built the infrastructure. They were the craftsmen, they were also the teachers. The first schools were in the slave lodge. They, they had so many talents. And Swat Maria Evert, she is manifest of this ability to rise against the odds just rise but excel to become so powerful a personality that history remembers you.